Step number one, isolate one radical on one side of the equation. If you have two radicals, you may have to isolate both of them. Uh, but sometimes they'll be isolated for you. You'll see that in the examples. Raise both sides to a power equal to the index of the radical. So if it's a square root, you're going to square both sides. If it's the tenth root, then you're going to tenth power both sides. Okay. You'll look to simplify. If the equation has, still has a radical to term, then, then you just repeat these steps until you get rid of all the radicals. Okay. Because sometimes it is possible you may see a radical within a radical. So once you get rid of one radical, you still have a radical. Okay. Uh, if not, then you just solve. Uh, and then, of course, step five is to check all your answers because not all the answers will give us a true statement. Now, be careful on these, right? If, if the index is an even, it can't equal anything that's negative, right? If it's an odd, then it can be ev uh, positive or negative. All right, here's our first problem. We're just going to solve for x. Same idea as that routine that we're just looking at. So the first thing I need to do is get my radical on one side of the equation. But right here, I mean, it is on one side of the equation. The problem is we've got this minus 4 stuff, which, well, we don't want that there. Because we just want the radical by itself. Kind of like as if you were manipulating an equation for a specific variable. We're manipulating it for the radical. So how do I get rid of that minus 4? I would add 4 to both sides. And that would give me 0 plus 4 is 4. All right, so this is what we have now. And the radical right now is by itself. And it's a cube root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both sides. And I'm going to cube both sides. All right. Now when I do that, this cube and this cube root are going to cancel out, leaving us with just the 2x minus 6. And this will equal 4 to the power of 3, which is 64. So now that we have this, uh, we want the x's on their own side because there's no radicals to get rid of anymore. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. And 64 plus 6 is 70. And we still got this 2x here. So 2x equals 70. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. And that leaves us with x equals 35. Now, again, you, if you stop there, just don't, okay? Because we do need to check this. So going back to the original equation, which was the cube root of 2x minus 6. This is going to be minus 4. Does this equal 0? Well, let's go ahead and replace x with... 35. And what does this give us? The cube root of 70 minus 6. And then we'll subtract 4. Uh, 70 minus 6, so that gives us the cube root of 64. When we subtract 4, again, this should equal 0. The cube root of 64 is 4. So what's 4 minus 4? It is 0. So our 35 answer, x is 35, does check off.